If you're a first time home buyer and you're thinking about purchasing a property, I want you to keep these three tips in mind before you start buying a house. Number one tip before you buy a house if you're a first time home buyer is getting educated on the market. And here's what I mean by that. I'm not just saying here's what you need to see on the market. Are there a lot of homes? Are there not a lot of homes? The clear thing that you need to understand is where's this market been and where is it going? Where is it currently right now? A really important step that I would take is to meet with a few different real estate agents and also research the local trends that are happening. Understanding where prices have been, where they're going by understanding what market demand there is, is going to help you make an educated decision as to your purchasing power and not only your purchasing power, if you feel comfortable going to a certain place in your bid. For example, if you understand that median sale prices in an area have been at a certain level and are now continuing to increase because of a lot of employers that are heading to the area and lots of demand is starting to incur, then you're gonna feel a little bit more confident about making a stronger bid on real estate, understanding that those prices are expected to rise over the subsequent months and years due to all of the buyer demand. Another reason to get educated on the market is to understand which offers are winning and which offers are not. No one wants to make a mistake and no one wants to overpay for properties. However, if you understand that in every single situation, sellers are actually pricing their properties under where they believe that the property is going to sell, it's simply a strategy of theirs. If you walk into this uneducated about the market, you may in fact feel that you're overpaying for a property if you happen to pay over the list price. Instead, hearing from a number of real estate agents about where the market is going and where they see the offers are actually winning right now will help you understand what the level playing field is like for all of the offers. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of smarts and education in order to get your offer accepted above another offer. Another way to get educated in the market is to understand which offers are actually winning and which offers are not. Ask your lenders or ask the real estate agents which ones appear to be getting accepted by sellers. Study those, look to see what types of offers are they writing? Are they offering a certain way over the asking price or giving certain terms to sellers that are very attractive right now? Or are they able to get deals, meaning less off of a particular price by doing certain things within the market? Learning and understanding the terms that are winning is extremely helpful when getting educated on the market. Getting educated within the local market is also important, especially if you wanna find a deal. Many buyers ask me, how do I find a deal right now? And if they keep seeing prices go over the asking price in certain areas, they're going to get frustrated. Well, certain areas within particular markets are still seeing prices of homes sell under their list price. Why is that? Well, certain areas don't have as much demand as others. And so you may want to even consider moving to another particular area of focus, meaning going to another town that might be a little bit further out from the metropolitan area in order to get a better price in a house or even a lesser dollar per square foot in the house. If that's the case, the only way that you're gonna understand that is if you get educated on the local market. My strong recommendation, get in a process of interviewing local realtors who really know the area. If you're a first time home buyer and you're looking to purchase a property, here's my second tip to you in order to make it the best experience possible. Tip number two, get educated on financing options. Now, it's definitely something that you wanna do is about setting a budget, understanding what you can afford and looking online, but realize this, you may not be able to find that particular house within your price point that you actually want without looking at some of the programs that are offered. Many times, lenders offer first-time home buyer incentives, whether that's a particular rate or a certain type of loan program that's out there, which may apply to you. In certain states around the country, you can get a huge down payment assistance that happens for first-time home buyers only that you may be missing out on if you don't ask a number of lenders. Not all lenders offer the same amount of products, and so I hope you're seeing a theme here that not every real estate agent nor every lender offers the same amount of products, and so you wanna get as educated as possible by talking to a few before deciding which ones you wanna go with. Tip number three, if you're a first time home buyer, understand and set clear parameters for your home search. You can't uh, count the amount of times that I've seen people say, you know what, I'm just looking for a three bedroom home in this particular area, but I kinda go elsewhere and I may get something that's a little bit in worse condition, but if it was in perfect condition, I'd pay more. They're really uncertain about what they'd actually want. Ask yourself and sit down and ask the question, if I walked into this property and I had to do a lot of work to it, 
would I be okay purchasing it? Well, if you're educated on the current market, then you'll understand what properties that need a lot of work are actually going to cost. And then ask yourself this question, am I utilizing tip number two, a loan product that helps me renovate the property? Or is all that cash in order to renovate the property coming out of my pocket? And then ask yourself, do I have that kind of money on hand and do I want to be managing the property and do I have accurate costs in my mind as to what it's going to cost to renovate a property? Typically, most home buyers do not. And so it's a really good idea to get very clear about what you will and what you will not accept within a property. Then match those up with tip number one and tip number two. Is this realistic? Getting very educated about the market and the loan products along with setting your parameters is extremely important. I cannot say this enough. If you do not have clear parameters and you're not setting that clear with yourself, with your loan officer, and with your real estate agent, you're gonna set yourself up not only for not having a great experience, but maybe even failure. I've seen it many times where home buyers get into this process and they're so uncertain about what they actually want that they'll search for months, if not years, watching as interest rates continue to rise and fall, They'll see the vicissitudes of that along with the same with real estate prices and they'll be discouraged in the process. I don't want you to be discouraged. For more information about this and for other great tips, please go ahead and subscribe. Click on that little bell up there so you get more tips like these and feel free to reach out in one of the links below in order to book a session with us so we can help match you with a great agent in any of the states around the country where we run real estate teams. Thanks again for watching.